بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلاة سلام محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أسعد الله أوقاتكم في كل مكان برعاية السيد رئيس جامعة الموصل الأستاذ الدكتور أستاذ كمال الدين الأحمدي المحترم وبإشراف كل من الدكتور محمد علي محمد عفين المحترم عميد كلية الآداب والدكتور الأستاذ الدكتور حازم بنون إسماعيل المحترم عميد كلية التربية العلوم الإنسانية تقيم كلية الآداب والتربية العلوم الإنسانية المهرجان المهرجان القراءة الثاني بعنوان التعبير والأداء وتنمية المهارات ويأتي هذا المهرجان استكمالا للمهرجان الذي انطلق العام الماضي وهذا وما يميز هذا المهرجان مشاركة كلية التربية العلوم الإنسانية فيه وطبعا ازدانت كلية الآداب بحضورهم وبوجودهم في هذا المهرجان الذي سيكون بإذن الله تعالى فاتحة خير على الكليتين وفيما يتعلق بتبادل الخبرات والمعارف والتلاقح الثقافي قبل أن نبدأ بأعمال المهرجان يتقدم الأستاذ الدكتور كمال حازم حسين رئيس قسم اللغة الإنجليزية في كلية التربية العلوم الإنسانية بتقديم كلمة ترحيبية نيابة عن أساتذة كلية التربية العلوم الإنسانية فليتفضل مشكورا شكرا دكتور بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Good evening everybody It's my pleasure to welcome you to the second virtual recitation festival under the title Expression, Performance and Skills Development held at the Departments of English College of Education for Humanities and College of Arts at the University of Mosul uh, We are grateful to the festival committee for the great efforts they did in my name and the name of the staff of the two departments, I welcome the students participating in this scientific festival, which definitely develops their reading skills, reading and other skills, of course. We, are, we look forward to further scientific cooperation between the two colleges. I sincerely hope you all enjoy the festival and uh, thank you for your attendance and participation. Okay, thank you, Dr. Abdullah. Thank you very much, Dr. Kamal. Shukran jazeelan, Dr. Kamal, ala hadhi al-kalima al-tarhibiya. Wa antalaqat a'mal al-maharajan al-qira'a al-talabi. Wa hadhi al-jalsat ta'ti fi al-yawm al-thani li hadha al-maharajan. Wa nantakil al-an ila qism akhar wa musharikin akharin fi hadha al-maharajan. Yatakaddam al-Dr. حسان مؤيد حامد لتقديم طلبة قسم اللغة الإنجليزية في كلية التربية للعلوم الإنسانية تفضل دكتور حسان هل أنت جاهز؟ نعم شكرا جزيلا دكتور عبد الله بارك الله فيك دكتور أهلا وسهلا بك Okay thank you so much Good evening everyone um, It's a very um, engaging moment to be part of this uh, academic festival A word of gratitude actually goes for the huge team the coordinators in the College of Arts and the College of Education organize and put this event together. And we look actually forward for further joint activities. I should say that uh, the participants today have been an exceptional because without a discipline and extremely great students, this festival cannot be successful. I hope that everyone is enjoying this wonderful evening. Actually, we have got uh, four particip participants in the College of Education, English Department. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, Dalia Anmar, Dalia Anmar, and I'm going to introduce her. I, I, I don't know if she's uh, she's ready. Dalia, yes, doctor, Dalia. Dalia. I'm ready. Dalia, good. Okay, I'm going to introduce Dalia for you. Dalia, she's uh, born in 1998. She's a junior in the Department of English. She participated in many training activities, specialized in psychological social support. She also enrolled in the LIDA Dialogue program in the first season in uh, 2020. Um, her poem today is uh, um, entitled as Incident by Amiri Baraka. Uh, the poem tackles the subject of committing crime and avoiding punishment. Uh, the poem reveals how the victim loses his life while the criminal runs away. Okay, uh, Dahlia, if, I, if you are ready, the floor is yours. Yes, Doctor. Okay, I'm ready. Hello, everyone. My name is Dalian Mar. The title of the poem is Incident by the American poet Amiri Baraka. He came back and shot. He shot him. 
When he came back, he shot, and he fell stumbling past shadow world. Down shot, dying dead to fall hold. At the bottom, bleeding shot dead. He died then there. After the fall, the speeding ball. George's face and blood sprayed fine over the killer and the gray lights. Pictures of the dead man are everywhere, and his spirit sucks up the light. But he died in darkness darker than his soul, and after everything templated blindly with him dying down the stair. We have no words on the killer except he came back from somewhere to do what he did, and shot only once into his victim's stair, and left him quickly when the blood ran out. We know the killer was skillful, quick, and silent, and that the victim probably knew him. Other than that, aside from Gage's soreness of the dead man's expression and cool surprise in the pictures of his hands and fingers, we know nothing. That's it. Thank you for listening. Well, uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Dale, for this interesting reading. Um, now we move to the second part of uh, this uh, night, and we are going to go with, um, with Hassan. Uh, okay, I'm going to introduce Hassan for you. Hassan, are you there? Are you there, Hassan? Yeah, Doctor, I'm here. Thank you so much. I'm going to introduce you to the to the audience. Okay, Hassan uh, Mahmoud. He was born in 1995. He's a senior in the Department of English. His hobbies are sports, translation, and reading. He's working with Oxfam organization as a, a psychological social support. Uh, his uh, poem, it is entitled as The Will to Win, Bertrand Bradley. The poem is motivational. It is about achieving the goals uh, with insistence and determination. Okay, Hassan, if you are ready, it, the floor is yours. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm all honored to read to you. Uh, the poem is entitled The Will to Win by Bertrand Barley. If you want to think Dead enough to go out and fight for it. Work day and night for it. Give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it. If only desire of it makes you quiet, mad enough, never to tire of it. Makes you hold all other things tawdry and cheap for it. If life seems all empty and useless without it, and all that you skim and you dream is about it. If you gladly, you will sweat for it, fret for it, and you plan for it. Lose all your terms for man for it. If you simply go after that thing that you want with all your capacity, the tranquility, faith, hope, and confidence, same tenacity. If neither cold poverty, famishing gaunts, nor sickness nor pain, of body or brain, can turn you away from the thing that you want, if dumped and grim, you besiege and beset it, you will get it. Thank you for listening. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Hassan, for your this nice uh, um, reading. And going to go now with uh, with Reem, if she is there, Reem Ahmed. Are you ready, Reem? Reem yes, Ahmed. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, sir. Okay, Reem. Okay, hear great, me? Reem. Uh, okay, uh, I can hear you very well. Okay, Reem, now let me introduce uh, you for uh, uh, our uh, next participant. Her name is Reem Ahmed. She is born in 1996. She is a senior in the Department of English. Her hobbies are reading, watching movies, and listening to classical music. Um, she's going to uh, read the poem, which is actually written by uh, Robert Frost. It is entitled as The Road Not Taken. Mm -hmm. The poem tackles the subject of choosing the right road. The speaker puts uh, on a jubilee uh, between different roads, and uh, he has to choose the suitable one. Now, if you are ready, Reem, uh, the floor is yours. Yes, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Okay, first of all, I would like to thank my department for giving me the opportunity to participate in this conference. So, uh, I don't know why I can't share my screen. I'm sorry. So, I'm just going to read if you allow me. Excuse me, Reem, can you just uh, change it to place because it's your, vo your voice is not so clear to us. Can you change it to place? Can you hear me now, sir? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, now it's better. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. It's good now. Is it good now? Yes, yes, we can hear you very well now. Yeah, you can start. Right. Okay. The road not taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down on the backwood to a bend in the underground. Excuse me, Rim. Rim, excuse me. Excuse me, Rim. I'm sorry uh, for interruption. Uh, there's a guy, I think uh, his name is Ahmed. Uh, the profile is Ahmed, I think. Uh, please, could you mute your mic, please? We are now listening to, to Reem. Please mute your mic, please, Ahmed. It's okay. Uh, uh, please, you, you may start again, please, from the very beginning, please. Would you like me to start again? Yeah, please, yeah. Okay. The road not taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverse in a yellow wood. And sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could, to advance in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy I wanted where. Though as far as that, the passing there had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay, and leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That's it, thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Reem, uh, for this nice uh, presentation. Uh, now we move to the uh, last but not least uh, uh, student participant for this today, for this night, sorry. Uh, his name is Uthman Nabil. Uh, Uthman, are you ready? Yes, Dr. Okay, I'm, I'm going to introduce uh, Uthman for you now. Uh, Uthman actually born in 1998. He is mm -hmm. a senior in the Department of English, College of Education for Humanities. His hobbies are reading, writing poetry in Arabic and English. His ambition is to convey his message and ideas through poetry. He participated in uh, Mosul Liberation Culture Festival in Erbil in 2016. Um, now, the, um, what is interesting about uh, Uthman uh, uh, is that uh, the poem that uh, is going to read for you is written by himself, and it is called uh, Modernity. Uh, so modernity actually here it is a, a poem that criticizes uh, the uh, mo the modern age and expresses his yearning to the to the past. Uh, if you are ready, Uthman, the floor is yours, please. Thanks for presenting me, Dr. Hassan, and I'm so glad uh, participating in this festival. Okay, may you may start now, please. Okay. Modernity. There is a wrecking ball which destroys me every day. There is nothing as I feel. I feel empty. No. Emptiness fills me. Can I choose another age to live? Can I choose my fate once? The drops of rain fall. This idiot world doesn't suit me. I hate capitalism. I hate modernity. I hate to be a fake. This simulation doesn't suit me. This lack of responsibility. Lack of humanity we see. 
I want to screw up my memories. I want to start again with another people. Don't need to take my number on my Facebook account. Emptiness fills me, surrounding my bones. To read about great men is stunning. To live with them is a fantasy. There are no greats in modernity. They all try to worship their governments. Even if they hate it unconsciously. Even if they reveal their hatred. They all seek their time as salary. Peacefully and meekly. Can I be a warrior? Can I choose my fate? I want to meet the old ones. To hear their great music. To see their great paintings. To read their great novels and poems. Emptiness hits me surrounding my bones. Dreams and activeness. I want to pluck myself and get rid of the skin. Time makes one feel ill. To see it passes you is a thing. But to hear it dancing in head is another. Does anyone feel the same? That's it and thank you. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Uthman, for this nice presentation. Uh, thank you, everyone. Kalima um, bihaq Uthman. طبعاً القصيدة هذه من تأليف Uthman هي المحاولة الأولى له وكانت قصيدة رائعة جداً بصراحة. نتمنى إن شاء الله تنال إعجاب الجميع. شكراً جزيلاً لدكتور عبد الله والجهود الجبارة بذرة من قبلكم وشكراً لمن كان في الكواليس في التحضير لهذا المهرجان الأكاديمي الرائع. شكرا جزيلا لكم ونتمنى بأن هناك إن شاء الله مشاركات أخرى ومهرجانات أخرى تقام يشترك فيها طلبتنا وطلبتكم سوية لظهار الجانب الإبداعي الذي يمتلكه طلبتنا وطلبتكم على أحد سواء شكرا جزيلا للجميع مرة ثانية شكرا جزيلا, شكرا جزيلا دكتور حسان على هذا الأداء الرائع وهذا التقديم الرائع وهذا هذه المشاركة المميزة والفعالة ولا سيما من القصيدة الأخيرة التي يعني طبعا الكتابة في اللغة الإنجليزية كتابة القصائد شيء صعب وهذا يدل على إبداع الطلبة ويعني لديهم إمكانات وطاقات جبارة ونحن في هذا المهرجان البسيط نحاول تفجير شيء من هذه الطاقات إن شاء الله يكون لنا مهرجانات أخرى وفي و... ونشاطات أخرى تسهم في رفع مستوى الطلبة وتفجير الطاقات الكاملة لديهم شكرا دكتور حسان شكرا دكتور محمود راكان شكرا دكتور كمال على هذه المشاركات المميزة التي أنارت كلية الأداب وأنارت المهرجان بهذا العمل وهذا الأداء الجميل